Guys, in this video, we are going to look at how to install Tailwind CSS into your React White application. So in this video, we'll be creating a new React White app and we are going to be installing Tailwind CSS into the application and see step by step how we can do this. So I'm here on tailwindcss.com and if we go to the documentation of tailwindcss.com. So here under the documentation, we can see that the first document that we see is using white and it's giving step by step how to install Tailwind CSS into our React application. So we are going to be following following this documentation and install Tailwind CSS. So let's go to Visual Studio Code and try to create a new React White App. So here in my Visual Studio Code, I'm just going to create a new React White App by running a command npm create white at latest. So this is going to create a white app by using the latest version of white. So this is going to ask us to name the project. So I'm just going to name it as Tailwind first project. So this is going to be our first project and we are going to be using React in this application. So I'm just going to select React and JavaScript. So now our new React white app is ready into this folder. So I'm just going to open that folder and find my latest project that I've created. And we are going to open it in Visual Studio Code and we can open a new terminal here. So here in this new project we are going to try and set up tailwind css so let's go back to the tailwind css documentation and see how we can do that to install tailwind css first we have to run a command that says npm install tailwind css and tailwind css white so i'm just going to copy this go back to my visual studio code and install tailwind css into my application so now we have done the first step and we can go back to the documentation so here in the second step it's asking us to configure the white plugin and add tailwind Tailwind CSS white plugin to white config. So we are going to look at this file that is white.config.js in our case because we are using JavaScript. So I'm just going to split my screen here and bring this documentation alongside my React app. So to do this second step, I'll just go to white.config.js and we can expand this a little bit to see the entire file. So here, if we look at this, we can see that there is no Tailwind CSS here. So we have to manually like import Tailwind CSS into the project by using this command at the top and we have to add tailwind css to the plugins so i'm just going to copy this tailwind css and add it after the react plugin so that's the second step that we have to do to set up tailwind css and in the third step we have to import tailwind css into our css file so i'm just going to copy this import statement and we will go to our index.css and we are going to delete all the default css that's here and app.css we can delete all the default css but we are going to import tailwind css into our index dot css file so that's the third step that we have to do to set up tailwind css now i'm just going to run this application by running a command npm install first and next we are going to run npm run dev to run this application so now our application is ready on this local host and we are going to open this in a new tab here so here on the new tab we can see the default code that's here in app.jsx i'm just going to remove all the default code from app.jsx and put hello world here and we are going to test if our Tailwind CSS has been configured successfully into this application. So here on the div tag, I've just placed a text that is hello world. So here I'm just going to assign a class name. So here we are going to write some Tailwind CSS and try to increase the size of this text. So in Tailwind CSS, we can increase the size by writing something like text. Let's make it 50 pixels. So here we can see that the text size is increased and, and that means that Tailwind CSS has been configured successfully into this React application. So guys, that's all I want to cover in this video if you found a value in this video leave a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one